springtime honey tends to be lighter color than the summer honey. And here you see they've just started, look, just started to draw this out. And again, this shows they've got an urgency to have this ready to put and store honey. So there's a good honey flow on at the moment. So this frame, this was only put on a short while ago. So there's a big honey flow here. So what I'm going to do now is I've got to take this down stage by stage because it would be too heavy to lift because it's full of honey. So I'll put that there. So now what I'll do is I'll lift this up and just see what the state of play with the honey here. And here you see it's even fuller of honey and they're capping it so that tells you that the honey is ripe and they've put pollen in there which is a bit of a pest because it makes it difficult to extract but it's not impossible and that weighs about two to three pounds of honey in there and they're starting to get a bit more buzzy and anxious because of it all you see they've drawn all this comb out and put honey in there. So they're a very busy active colony. And this is called brace comb and I want to get rid of that because if I don't get rid of it, it sticks it all together. So I'll need to smoke them down so I don't hurt them when I scrape that off. If I didn't take this off and you just left it for four months or three months, to unstick the hive would be impossible. And not only that, you'd actually have honey everywhere and it would kill a lot of bees so it's much better and it's one of the good re one of the reasons for looking at hives every so often though there are beekeepers who demand this is rubbish it all should be let alone beekeeping this frame is called they've drawn this the old fashioned comb honey and I don't need to worry because I know the queen's not up here. And I'll just have a look at this one. You see, they're getting more noisy now down the bottom because they know I'm coming. And so there's lots of honey there. So that's looking good. I'll put that back. And then I put this back trying not to crush the bees because every time I crush a bee it gives off a smell which tells the other bees hey watch out there's trouble in the hive and so they don't like that in about another two weeks I'll probably I might even invite you if you're good yeah. come and we'll extract some honey from there so now I'm putting these back and there's probably about 50 pounds of honey in the colony at the moment and that will be from the apple blossom and all the trees all around so that's really a fairly happy story with this hive but I still have got to be vigilant to make sure that I don't have any diseases that I've got a queen. The queen is the secret. If I have no queen, I have no bees. They can't get out into the garden to pollinate. So that's not good for the flowers. And it's not good for me because I don't get any honey. And I like honey. I'm like Pooh Bear. Right, so now I'll put this away in here.